Welcome to another tutorial from helpvid.net. Today's tutorial we're going to talk about HTML5 and we're going to begin the creation of a website using HTML5. Now first I want to talk about HTML5 before we actually get into <coughs> doing the tutorial and creating the website. <coughs> Why is HTML5 so important? Now back last year, roughly around about November, I decided to really home in and watch people's habits, <clears throat> you know, your everyday people on the street. Um, I couldn't take into account my own habits because I'm in front of a PC all day, uh, it's part of my work. So I homed in on other people <clears throat> and I seen that people were using their mobile phones while standing in queues at bus stops, it, it was really amazing. I had a friend um, who went to phone a taxi and he had an app, um, <clears throat> he had an app on his iPhone, I think it was called Hail, uh, to order a taxi. It was just, people just want information on the move. People want information instantly. <clears throat> and why is this relevant to HTML5? Well, until now, basically HTML was always behind the game. Uh, you had a website and like my website helpvid.net uh, we come to the video section here and there's uh, <coughs> just scroll down here so there's videos here sitting on the page and basically because of the way the only way available for me to structure this basically the browser the search engine the search engine could not tell what the video was about basically it just seen a bunch of code, it never knew what the video was about, it never knew the title, it never knew anything about this video, it was just a bunch of code sitting. Now HTML, the World Wide Consortium, people involved with uh, creating and developing browsers, uh, Google and the search engine, these people are now communicating together so everybody is in tune with the latest technology so that Google can indeed index videos. It's only beneficial to Google if they can index videos and read videos. Um, so this is the reason why all these people are now working together and browsers are starting to support um, various different parts of HTML5 and JavaScript and there's just a whole bunch of stuff going on and it seems finally that everybody's working together and if you do have a good rich content website not just with words but with uh, maybe javascript and banners and images and videos and you've got a whole lot of stuff going on then html5 uh, will allow you to mark up your content and it will be rewarded with better uh, ranking in the search results ultimately that's what everybody's looking for there is no point in having especially if you're a business you have a product or a service to offer there is no point in having a great website if you cannot be found. So this is what HTML5 is doing. It's creating a whole bunch of new things for the web that will allow your business, your website, to basically optimize itself to the fullest degree, um, every element within that website. So let's get started. Let's actually create a HTML5 website. So we're gonna use Dreamweaver and as you can see, I've got a little uh, window open here and what I've done here is I've just created a local root folder if you don't know how to do this there is a tutorial on this you just create a folder in your desktop you come to site new site and just link up to this folder so I've got that open in my little files palette here I'm going to come to where it says create new and I've got the cold fusion PHP all these options and I'm going to click on more now I've got two options. In the layout options you can see two new options HTML5 two column or three column. You can see a little preview over here to the right hand side. So first this can be changed, this can be altered but we're going to just select this one for the time being. We're going to select two column fixed right sidebar and then we're going to keep it dot type HTML5 the layout.css we're going to create a new file by default yours will be in 
add to head that means all your CSS will be above the page we don't want that we want it to be in a CSS file so we're going to go create and it'll ask us to name that file so we're going to call it CSS and save <coughs> okay so that's us started here we've got a basic layout here doesn't look good um, it's maybe really magnified in the screen guys because for this uh, tutorial I'm using an 800 pixel uh, width monitor so let's go into code view and see what's happening here in the background so as you can see we've got our standard head tag here which was always in the old HTML at the top and then we started our body but interestingly here on line 14 we can see that we've got another header tag so this was never there before so this is a default HTML5 header tag telling the search engine that this is the header so it's identifying this area your maybe your company logo um, just undo this so I'll just close this out just now and start again right so there's your head tag there on line 3 now before we only had one header tag at the top now you can see on line 14 we've got another header tag happening here and if we scroll down you can see we're using unordered lists which we all know now for your navigation bar this is very good for CSS but interestingly I can see something straight away here um, with my design head on I can see straight away I remember in our design view that this column here is to the right hand side uh, the right hand side okay yeah it's appearing first after a header tag this sidebar which is located to the right hand side is appearing first now the natural flow of order before with HTML is you would have your header and then the code would start from left to right so you really you should be seeing this column with your instructions here first and then at the bottom after this section is finished you should see your right hand column but this right hand column is appearing first the reason for this is because this is your links we all know or some of us may not but when your site is crawled by a uh, googlebot or any indexing uh, spider it automatically reads your website from the top to the bottom left to right just natural like we read like humans um, so we're putting emphasis on these appearing first the reason being this is main categories in your website this is where your links are going to be this is going th th this is saying that uh, this is our product section or our services section or our price list so really <clears throat> this is what you want you want your links to appear first you really want your links to be the first thing because it's the main part of your website it's telling Google this is what we have to offer straight away you don't need to read any content and then when you come to this right hand side that's when you find out what we've got to offer we're telling you straight away this is what we are all about this is the categories that we have to offer at our website so straight away this tells me HTML5 has been structured for SEO it's 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 targeting the links on your page of your main navigation first before anything else no matter where they appear in your page and we can see here they're appearing in the right hand side so I'm going to just come into CSS and I believe this is called the sidebar so I'm going to move this sidebar across from the right to the left click apply click OK so the code will remain the same this is the way the code is appearing anyway as if this is being read first so let's go back to code view <coughs> and we'll scroll down so we can see that they're using this unordered list with list items now this is good SEO practice uh, for a long time now we've known that for SEO an unordered list is you know a little chunk of gold so next we've got an aside tag 
We've got article tags, so this is telling the search engine that this is the article about to start. The aside is just a little bit of information. This is the information here, aside. So that this would look, be like a mission statement type of a thing, or you know, just a little paragraph. But then here at instructions, we're now telling the search engine this is the article about to start. Before, it would never have known. It would never have known where the article started. So we're telling them the article content starts here. This is the header one tag, and this is section one. And here's the heading two tag for section one. And again, we're breaking it up. As you can see, we just used to use paragraph tags to break up. But paragraph tags get used for a whole host of things. If anybody ever wanted a little bit of padding here, they would automatically put in a paragraph tag as it would bring this away from the edge. Rather than going into the CSS and apply padding or margin, they would just throw in a paragraph tag. And it would really throw off HTML because HTML would think paragraph we're about to start reading an article or a story when really it wasn't the case. It was just somebody using the paragraph tag to put in a little bit of space and to kind of, you know, structure something with a little bit of padding. So we've got away with that. We're still using the paragraph tag, but really no emphasis has been put on it because we know the article's begun. We know our heading tag and here's section and this section ends. So now we're going to write another section and here's the head and two tag for this section. So the section basically is a new paragraph tag, but it's also letting you use these H2 tags underneath each section. Really splitting an article up into different bits. It's really uh, good. So here's the article ending here, and we've even got address tags. Now, this is just the basics. This is just the basics. Um, if you were to put in a navigation area, Let's say we're putting it up here. We now have nav tags. And the nav tag tells the search engine that this is your navigation area. So if we come across here to helpvid.net, I've not got it yet. This is, you know, I've not had the time to do it on helpvid.net. But I would drop nav tags round about this area here. And it would tell the search engine that this is my navigation area, which would really help it understand what the site is all about. Whereas before, this might have been in a div tag. It might have been in an unordered list, which is fine. It really is fine to have it in an unordered list or in a div tag but also wrap that nav tag around it to let Google know that this is my navigation area. And then it doesn't matter if it's inside a div or inside an unordered list, at least Google knows that this is the navigation area. Um, so let's go through some more tags that are on basically this main template here. Um, now, other things is video, video and audio. Uh, it's a semantic web, it really is. Uh, it's now you can, if you've got a video, you can wrap video tags around your video, also giving the video a title and a header and a description and keywords. And you know, there's so much you can give it a length how long is your video? You, there's a thumbnail to the video where, where the video is actually uh, a little thumbnail to the little picture that appears, you know, on YouTube. Um, there's obviously we've covered the section, the article, there's site, there's menu, um, there's canvas, you know, there's so many different tags. I would really, um, before you go right into this, I would go away and look and study HTML5. Now, what I've done is on <clears throat> my website, I went and selected, um, I think it was four or five articles and four or five videos only and I structured them with HTML5, wrapping the video tags, using the section tags, the article tags, and I have seen results. You know, they have outperformed other pages. So Google is definitely picking up on HTML5 and rewarding pages that are implementing these tags. Um, so let's get started on our website here. So as we can see, we were looking at the code. Now let's look at the website. We've got our header here. In this area here, this is where we would probably wrap our nav tags because we'd have another navigation up here. 
we can see our H1 tag, our H2 tag, but before that, in here, we'll have article starting, H2, and then this is a section. So again, this is split up, this is another H2, and another section. And it's really cool because we can go in here and all the HTML, all the CSS is put in here for you. So we could come in to our code view and we'll click on section, click on CSS, create a new rule for section background, let's make the colour red, apply, ok, come back to design view and as you can see it's just making the sections red so it identifies that's the sections there. So guys I hope this video helps, there will be more to follow, this is just a little overview of HTML5 and it is really important to use it because everybody is working together now um, the browsers are supporting this when I say the browsers are supporting it I believe there's a little line of code in here somewhere if I can find it, it will be in the CSS here it is here uh, where are we? HTML5 support set up new tag display box so browser knows to render the tags properly so you need to put in this in line in 102, which is automatically put in there for you. But really this is for Internet Explorer 5, which is the worst thing ever invented in my opinion. They always lag behind. But this is for the benefit of Internet Explorer. So your website will still work fine as Internet Explorer, always dragging their heels, are not fully supportive of HTML5 yet. But when they are, you will be able to move this little line 102. But it's just telling them... Uh, basically the header, section, footer aside, article should be displayed in a block and really this will help the site appear fine in Internet Explorer so that's me for this tutorial guys just a little overview of HTML5 um, if you're thinking about creating a new website or if you have a website that's not got too many pages I would definitely recommend that you move with the times and use HTML5. Uh, really, it's, it's only going to reward you in the future. Uh, this is I've definitely seen results when I've used the video tags, and the comment, and the content, and when I've used uh, the section article tags. I've definitely seen those pages outperform the pages without. So, guys, until the next tutorial please drop by the website, website that's helpfit.net and stay safe.